All right, lads. Straight in this time, no kissing. What's the most expensive pint you've ever had? So I did a questions box on my Instagram. I got a load of decent answers. I'm gonna react to them, read them out. First of all, I'm gonna show you the most expensive pint I've ever done in a video. The Trinity Bar, 650 for this pint. And don't punch me. No, 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 I'll, I'll give it a, a 7.4. Yeah, so that was a Trinity Bar, that was one of our first reviews, 650 uh, was okay. And then I think the most I've ever paid is maybe like 670, 680 in Temple Bar, like the Temple Bar pub. I have to put my hand up and say I haven't had that much Guinness outside of Ireland. Most of these coming in are from all over the world where it's just extortion prices. Let's read a few and let's see where is the most expensive pint in the world. £7.50 in London, it didn't even come in a Guinness glass. Well. That's the thing, like, you go to London, what do you expect? It's just gonna be, the, people say Dublin is expensive, London is meant to be another step up. And sure, you only have to look at the, uh, one of the best Guinness pages, arguably the best Guinness page on Instagram, shit London Guinness. You see the fucking pints that come out of London. And if I ever paid £7.50 for any of those, I don't know what the fuck I'd do. We're all brave and saying, oh yeah, I'd give it back, I'd give it No, you wouldn't. It's like when you go to the barber and he, and he butchers you and you look at the back and you go, yeah, I love it. Same thing, unless the pint is, Totally unacceptable. You're not going to hand it back. Don't pretend like you have the balls to do it. You don't. It's not your lads. That's a good one, that. Yeah, so my latest technique with the can is just literally pure crack. Don't even let the whistle just cr absolutely crack it and fire it in as if you're going for the world record to get that liquid into that glass. It just always guarantees a creamy head. Whereas if you do what the actual Guinness people say and pour it in slowly, chances are you might get zero head, so fuck that. I lived in Whistler in Canada, $13.50 plus tax for a pint of mother's milk. Worth it every time though, he says, so. Look, lads, it's different if you pay it and you're shocked and it's shit. It's one thing if you know you're going to pay that $13.50 Canadian, whatever that works out as. If you know you're going to pay it, you know you're going to love it, then listen, who am I to tell you what to spend your money on? Sorry, lads, someone's coming in and out. Fuck with me, lie. Let's get back to it. So $13.50 Canadian, I'm actually going to write these down and figure out what is the most expensive pint I've been sent. So that's €8.70. Over €8 Euro for a hop house in the Temple Bar area. That's standard, lads. You could pay 80 quid in the Temple Bar area. They know the tourists are coming in, they know the tourists don't know exactly what stuff is supposed to cost. So they're gonna charge 8 euro, that's supply and demand, economics, shut them in. Oh here we go, fuck me, shit's hitting the fan. 12 euro 50, McGettigan's Pub, Dubai, fuck me, 12 euro 50. That's, that's top for now. 11 euro for a Magners in Amsterdam, with a like, Ooh. emoji face. Amsterdam, I wouldn't have thought that'd be that bad now. Oh my fucking Christ. 14 euro 70 for a pint of Guinness in Paris. Are you taking the absolute piss? That's literally the price of three pints in like a rural pub in Ireland. Quick mats, Paris, the city you love. I don't love the price of Guinness though. Holy shit, 1470. 12 pound in Trondheim, Denmark. Denmark, yeah, you hear of Copenhagen. It's meant to be the most expensive city in the world. Six pound 80, Man City Stadium. Seven euro 50 for Guinness in the Merchant Arch pub that's i think just over the halfpenny bridge that i think is the highest one in dublin merchant arch pub you scandalous bastards i actually remember going there when i started playing like rugby with like the senior team whatever and i would say 18 19 20 and a few of the older lads who had plenty of money were like right we're going to this town i thought right hopefully we go somewhere cheap they bring us to the merchant arch i was used to shooting nights where it was like three egg bombs for a tenner even four egg bombs for a tenner i remember going in there and it was like four Jaeger bombs for about 45 quid and I think I was wiped out after the first round and I just had to go home. 350 baht on Kosan Road, equivalent to nine euro. He said it was worth it though. I think, I suppose it's just that element of, and this again, this is what I wanna, I wanna go around all around the world trying Guinness because it's like, you know it's not gonna be the same but just drinking Guinness in a foreign country, it just gives you that feeling at home. And chances are you're not gonna sit there and drink 10 of them like you would in a pub here. So you don't mind paying 9, 10, 12, even 15 euro. It's something stupid, but it's good for you. You get a pick for the gram, send it home. Look like Billy Big Ball spending 15 euro. Your missus probably be raising them. $13 for a Guinness in New York, and it was muck. Oh my God, lads, we could have a winner. $18 Chase Center, San Francisco, and it was piss. This could be the winner, lads. 18 US dollars. <laughs> Takes it by 13 cent, 14 euro 83. Chase Center, San Francisco, and he said it was piss. You'd be absolutely free. Fuck me, that's crazy. So that's it, lads, with all my info. Chase Center, San Francisco, 14 euro 83 cent for a pint of Guinness that tastes like piss. The joys of life. Thanks for watching.